Hi, I'm Ken Chrysler, senior editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. And today I'm aboard the new Cruiser's 4050 Express Motor Yacht, which combines the cockpit layout of an express boat with that of an aft cabin motor yacht. Come on aboard and I'll show you what I mean. Cruises has paid special attention to the utilization of space aboard the 4050. I'll show you what I mean. This compartment underneath the integrated stairs, hot and cold transom shower, dockside breaker, phone and TV hookup, and your freshwater inlet. Over here, our swim ladder. Now over here we have a pair of dunnage boxes. Let me show you this one. Fully gasketed. There's a drain in the bottom in case any water gets in there, and that ram allows for easy opening and closing. Now this dunnage box here, there's plenty of room for lots of torpedoes. While she may look like an express cruiser outside, her interior is unmistakably aft cabin. Big upper and lower side windows in the saloon let guests enjoy the view, whether they're standing or seated. Fully equipped galley, which boasts double stainless steel sinks, an 8.5 cubic foot refrigerator freezer, two burner stove, and built-in microwave. And of course, here, as well as throughout the boat, there's abundant stowage and cabinetry. As you've seen, there's lots of stowage spaces aboard the 4050 Express Motor Yacht, especially here in the main cabin. Let me show you a couple. Find this cabinet here. Washer dryer. What a cabinet up here for your detergent and all that other stuff. Two more cabinets here. If you follow me over here, behind this mirror and behind the TV. It's a pretty nice design. The queen berth in the master measures six foot six by four foot ten and is as big as you'll find in any master on many express cruisers. There's plenty of stowage down here that would rival a shoreside condominium. I counted at least a dozen four large drawers. There are even big stowage bins beneath the berths in both the master and guest staterooms. Now you hands-on skippers might want to take a look at the engine space aboard the 4050. It's accessed right here in the saloon in the sole via this large hatch. Now there's no ladder to get down here, uh, so you're going to have to use the top of the Yanmars as your foothold. But once you're down there, I found a very workable space. I had no trouble in reaching the batteries, battery switches, the Raycors, and of course, the all important and maintenance items on the 370 horsepower Yanmars. The helm offers seating to port and a comfortable helm seat to starboard with excellent views of the seaway from the seat. And the touchpad control panel here offers keyless ignition and fingertip control of almost all functions on board the boat. Other features include a wet bar and refrigerator, F facing seating and this additional settee here. But the 4050 is designed for cruising and once underway and clear of the no wake zones I was able to spool her twin 370 horsepower Yanmar diesel inboards up to a wide open throttle speed of 36 miles an hour and I found she posted a 32 mile an hour best cruise speed. That's a 31,000 pound boat with full fuel and water. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time aboard the Cruises 4050 Express Motor Yacht as much as I have. I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. We'll see you next time.